talk about seasons a lot in the body of Christ. How about you have to really know what time it is. Uh-huh, because we, we dance and we shout. Uh-huh, but then we'll go back to our different destinations and we'll still be locked up in the same thing. But I come to tell you that after today, you'll never be the same because this is really your season. It's your time to multiply because we don't have as long as we've had before. Lord have mercy. All right, so a season. A season is a time that's characterized by a particular circumstance or an event. And if you think about seasons in the natural, you think about spring. That's when the flowers begin to bloom. Then you think about summer, and when I think about summer, I think about the water, the beach, and cruises, and, you know, things like that. That's just me. Maybe you think about the heat. But then there's fall, and there's the changing of the leaves, and then in the winter, We can identify it by the cold weather and the snow. So what I'm saying is that we as the children of God, we have to learn how to identify our seasons. Because, see, Ecclesiastes says it like this. It says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. It says there's a time to be born and a time to die. There's a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which was planted. There's a time to kill and a time to heal. A time to break down and a time to build up. A time to weep and a time to laugh. A time to mourn and a time to dance. Somebody say dance. Mm -hmm. So, So that says to me that seasons are constantly changing. But you have to understand that the end of one season is always the beginning of another season. And each season has an appointed span of time. So that means to me that your trial or your test, that thing that you're going through, it has an expiration date. Yeah, there are some things in your life that has an expiration date. And I told them Wednesday night, I said, you have to understand there are some people in your life that have expired. I don't mean that they've died. What I mean is that, Lord have mercy, you can't continue to hold on to those same people. Oh, Lord have mercy. There are some relationships that have expired and people will continue to try to hold on to dead relationships. Hoping the Lord will bring, bring, breathe life on that dead situation. But tell somebody, let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Yeah, let it go. You got to check the expiration dates. Uh-huh, because not everyone can go where you're going. Uh-huh, not everyone can go with you into this next season. 